have a lot of important issues to discuss in the economy and to fight uh, for the people. And I would like to appeal to our colleagues, the UPND, to be truthful. To be truthful in the way they are governing this country. Because one, we told them that you cannot do away with subsidies completely in a fragile economy like Zambia where people are suffering. But when you have a government that is controlled by outside forces, particularly the Western world, you end up being a liar all the time. And this is what this government is all about. This government is not about anything else. It's about lying, 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 lying. Yesterday, the board chairman of the Energy Regulation Board did indicate that, in fact, the price of petrol, diesel, and, uh, it, let me just say, petroleum pro products that were announced at the end of September were not the actual prices that they should have announced, taking, taking into consideration the devaluation of the quacha and indeed the price of crude on the world market. He said that they had taken some money which they collect for strategic reserve to cushion the high cost of diesel, petrol that should have been expected during that time. Why can't they just say that we have subsidized fuel for this month? Because this is what we told them. I particularly told them, come on, can you subsidize this? But because the IMF have told them, remove subsidies, don't subsidize. Because some of us countrymen are experienced. Chino Chalo Kumpela. But because you Zambians don't see this, we told them you have to subsidize Number one, they can't say that we've subsidized fuel. If you get money from the strategic reserve to lower the fuel price per non, fuel is over 30 kwacha. So Babula strategic money. That is what we call subsidy. But they don't want to accept that they've subsidized because we're in our IMF, we're in our Western world. Secondly, we're in our Western world. 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 That ZNS is going to produce cheap millimil. Where is ZNS going to get the mess to produce cheap millimil? It is from the food reserve agents. The food reserve agents buys subsidized maize, maize that is produced by the small scale farmers who are given subsidized fertilizer by the government. That is a subsidy again. Now they are scared of telling the people that we are subsidizing because we are So never H H never Chiten the right thing. This price of millimil Zambians can be brought down, and the only way out at the moment is to subsidize. government controlled. You see the economical parameters in London, in England. In, the, uh, in America cannot be brought to the Zambian situation. Because here, 70% of the people live below the uh, datum, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, live in poverty, in short. So how do you bring alien economical parameters to come and apply in the Zambian economy? If you know, the truth of the matter, they are subsidizing that uh, millimil from ZNFs. Because that maize was bought through subsidies. But the people who are in the Chinka, no one buys from here. But the people who feed, they are not going to be able to.
start telling the people the truth. And by the way, to say that you are going to reduce the price of millimule across the country by using ZNS millimule, that's an insult to the people of Zambia. How many milling companies does ZNS have? And can ZNS produce mi enough millimule to take throughout the country? The, the answer is no. So when I just saw that you were appointed Minister of Information, because you are Hello, within two weeks, if you land at Bunga Wala Buena, Wala Monica foolish because the Waka Buele. That's a fact. No matter how much in Egyptian case, we have been acquitted. When you know the truth, the truth will set you free. But in Pelemina, we shall fish up and shackle up on a one one part Mabula Chimutilla Sampa.